Hey guys, it's me. I am filming this video today because for months I have basically been an absolutely terrible, terrible YouTuber. And I know that there were some people who were following my videos and wanting to learn about the Opalon and watch someone's progression through the entire treatment to see how it went and what the results were. And I've basically fallen off. So the next video you're going to see is a video that I took after I got my third balloon inserted. I've had it saved on my phone for a long time, but I never uploaded it. A lot, a lot has been going on in the last few months. There's um, a lot of things have changed <laughs> in my personal life. Not having to do with the Obalon, but just in my ability to edit videos and get them up. So I want to upload this video just because I have it saved and I had already filmed it. That being said, I do plan on filming an overall update. I do have the balloons out now. I've had them out for about a month. Um, so I will kind of do just everything that's going on, what the overall process was, what my results were, what I think about it, if I recommend it. And then on top of that, I'm going to talk about what getting the balloons out was like and what post-surgery felt like and how I'm doing now that they have been out for a month. So this clip that you're about to see is uh, an old clip, but I will be uploading some new ones for you. So really, really sorry about falling off and not keeping you guys up to date, uh, but hopefully I can do better. Um, but hopefully uh, these videos will still help someone who wants to learn about it and is interested in the Oblon and hopefully help you make your decision. Um, you know, of course, every every person is different. Everyone's experience will be different. Uh, but, you know, this is just how it went for me. All right. Thanks, guys. Okay, so this video is obviously going to be a little shaky. I have you hooked up on my car. Driving to work. So I just finished my third balloon insertion. Um, you know, it's the same procedure as always. They bring you in, um, do a little checkup when you're in the room, and then they bring you into the room for the insertion, which is just, uh, you know, a room with a big x ray machine in it. And the machine, I don't know if I've described it yet but it looks like a big U and so behind you you pretty much stand with your back to the square that is where they are taking the x-ray and that's why you have to stand in front of it during the insertion so that they can watch it go down your esophagus and into your stomach and that's how they know whenever it's in the right place because they can obviously see your stomach on the x-ray and they can also see the other balloons. The reason that they can see them is that they can see kind of a the circle where it's filled with gas and then it also has a little metal piece on it. And that metal piece is where the catheter is connected, where the gas goes in. Obviously it's some type of valve system that stops it from deflating over time or you know the gas coming back out the way that you filled it up they can see not only it travel down your esophagus but they can also see to make sure that it's kind of fallen down and is not in the way of the other balloons like tangled up in between them or something like that so this was the third balloon it was super easy to swallow the same as always Literally, all you have to do when you tilt your head back, I take a, sit, a big gulp of water, like a big mouthful of water, tilt my head back, take a deep breath, concentrate. You know, it's like taking a big pill or even taking like a shot where you just gulp with your throat muscles, with your muscles in the back of your throat. So immediately took my gulp, got it, got it flowing, and then you just sit there and I just take little sips of water kind of continuously. And you can feel it going down. This one, they could kind of 
they were a little, um, it took them a little bit longer to get to the point where they were ready to put the gas in. I think it's because they were watching it go down and it was kind of getting visually lost behind the other balloons. So he had me take a couple more sips of water and it kind of fell down and they're like, okay, we can see it. Um, so after that, they just filled it up. Um, this one, I could feel it filling up a lot more. It honestly hurt just a little bit. And when I say hurt, I don't mean excruciating pain. I just mean like you can feel the pressure. You can feel something changing. Um, and then with this one, I think because it was bumping up against the other balloons a little bit, I could kind of feel the catheter moving from like one side of my throat to the other like one or two times. And that honestly was the worst part just because it was tickling the back of my throat and kind of making me salivate a little bit like you do before you throw up. And so it was making me, I don't want to say nauseous because I wasn't like, oh, I'm about to, you know, have dry heaves or something like that. It wasn't anything that nearly that intense, um, but I felt like if I was not careful, then I would end up getting nauseous. And all you have to do to be careful, in my opinion, and my experience, you should just take, keep taking deep breaths. Um, I try not to swallow that much just because it obviously moves that catheter, catheter around a little bit. So, you know, I just concentrated on staying relaxed. And that's it, really. And so they finish the insertion they do seem to think that I will feel this one a little bit more and I might experience some stomach cramps just because uh, it is the third one and there's already so much space being taken up and now even more the balloons are literally like they're like probably actually like the size of like the top of my fist like a small orange um so it's a decent amount. Once you have three in, it's 750 cc. So that's, a, you know, that's basically your entire stomach. As far as my progress, you know, I've been drinking coffee in the mornings and having salads for lunch. And uh, that's about it. I have had, like I've said, some white bread or some not clean foods, but like it's all in my it's all about moderation everything in moderation I've even had some fast food but you know I'll order a kid's meal instead of a full meal or just you know a burger but no fries and really I am ordering the smaller amounts because even after the second balloon if I ate a full kid's meal I would feel pain and this is the same thing like I just said I don't mean excruciating pain it's not that terrible I just mean that I feel the pressure like I feel so full that it kind of you know hurts a little bit it makes my stomach ache a little bit so I am interested to see how it goes um, with this third balloon and how much I'm actually going to be able to eat portion wise like the actual amount I'm a little nervous just because I already I feel like I'm eating, I feel like with the second balloon you eat kind of what a normal person's meal should be, average size meal. And so with the third balloon I'm obviously going to be below that because I am trying to lose weight. So I don't know, I'm interested to see how it goes. I'm sure it will be fine. Um, but other than that, I mean my only other updates, I have lost maybe two inches, but it's kind of two inches total spaced out over my whole body. My stomach, my hips haven't changed that much, which I was kind of surprised because I've lost 11 pounds. So 11 pounds in a month, basically. And what I have noticed and where I have lost the weight is in my thighs. <laughs> so at least, you know, I can see that something is getting smaller. It's not just water weight. It's not just bloating. I have lost actual inches. It just looks like it's coming from my legs and I'm totally okay with that. I mean, that's one of the things that you have to always be aware of whenever you're trying to lose weight. So you don't get to pick where you lose it from, when you lose it, how you lose it. You know, there's no spot treatment. You know, it's overall. I've probably also lost a little bit of weight and 
puffiness in my face. Um, but other than that, every every measurement is pretty much the same. I think I maybe lost a quarter of an inch or a half of an inch of an inch in my chest area, which is probably more on my back than it is, say, like my boobs or something. Um, but if my boobs get smaller, I, I don't care. So those are all my updates. Everything went fine. I will update you guys later, let you know if I'm experiencing way more pain than I was or, you know, what's kind of changed on that front. Other than that, like, I'm super excited. All the doctors are really excited for me. They said I've been doing great. 11 pounds is, you know, great after, you know, a month, really a month and a week. Um, but other than that, if you, uh, you know, want to stay up to date, just hit the like and subscribe button and you will hear from me soon. All right. Bye, guys.